boy bun. Hey guys, it's Julie. I'm out with Burger. We are on the main street in our town, which is the busiest street. Tons of traffic. I'm trying to stimulate or simulate an area that's like his at home, which is hard to do because they live in the middle of DC. But I'm trying my best on the busiest road here and we've got him in a nice heel. Perfect position on my left side, slightly behind me, following my left leg. And we're just walking up and down the street. We actually parked at the sheets on the corner there. So we're gonna be practicing our healing and our downstays in a busier environment. I love the entrance to the gas station, because, especially at lunchtime, because it's just so busy. It's just a constant revolving door of people walking by in and out. And I wanted him to experience that in a calm way uh, without barking, whining, or lunging. I really enjoy this dog's walk. He's had a really big mindset and attitude shift just in the last week where it finally feels like he's soft and compliant, whereas before it was lots of resistance to everything we told him to do. Um, but that is all completely going away. I'm really happy with how he's doing. Um, this whole outing has been very pleasant. We had a nail Dremel session before we came out. No problems there. And this is a dog who would never allow anyone to do his nails. And the car ride was great. Now we're doing some healing on the main street. And then we'll finish it off with a downstay at the main entrance. This is all you could really ask for when you take your dog out into public. Quiet, calm, polite, well-mannered, and listens to you. Good boy, Burger. Little potty break. It's important that they have their free time to sniff. Go potty, wander around. And then when he's ready or when I'm ready, I will call him back into heel by using my beep on the collar. So here it is, beep, and then he comes back into heel.